It is 6 a.m. here in Savannah, Georgia. We are at stop number one on my road trip from Florida to New York so I could do my annual tests for my kidney transplant on the New York list. And we're gonna stop at this diner I found. It's the earliest diner that's open in Savannah, Georgia at 6 a.m. called Sunny Side Up. And we're gonna get a very, very healthy breakfast. Now I haven't slept yet. I pulled an all-nighter. I drove for the last like six hours. So we're gonna crush this meal. And then I'm gonna find a place to park and sleep for three, four hours in my car. And then we're gonna to try to do a video here in Savannah, Georgia to find out if this is Trump country. So it's gonna be a long day of creating content, food vlogging, and driving. So if you guys want to support my travels, my journey, my work, givesengo.com slash Adam Francisco. I am the only man fighting a terminal illness while still fighting for this country, the Constitution, and Donald J. Trump. So I hope you guys enjoy this East Coast road trip. You guys have been begging me to do videos outside of Florida, so here you go. And as always, God bless Trump. All right, so we are like one of the first customers here today, and uh, I want to start my trip off on a healthy note. So we're going to be getting uh, grilled chicken breast and two eggs over easy, which is going to be a lot of protein. And if I don't eat the egg yolks, that means it's going to be low in cholesterol. So that's what I'm going to get today, chicken and eggs. Let's go. All right, guys, look at this serving. This is a gigantic piece of chicken, two beautifully cooked eggs, a piece of toast with butter, and apple juice. Yo, all this is like 12 bucks. It's pretty good for Joe Biden's America. Deliciously cooked chicken for breakfast, why not? Let's go. We are stopping at a place called Toast here in Savannah, Georgia on the main street. And I came here to get some air conditioning and iced coffee and some water for my dogs. And of course, we are wearing the Trump hat. And let me tell you something, a lot of the hostesses here, chicas guapas, big fans. So if you're looking for a place that has patriotic employees, come to Savannah. As a matter of fact, check out this video from one of the hosts. Why do you support Donald Trump? Because he's real. Would you consider Donald Trump to be a real man? Yeah. What kind of uh, feedback do you get from your friends that you're a Trump supporter here in Savannah? 50-50. It's either side-eye, you kind know, of like a oh, or it's like, we usually end up stopping the conversation, but you know what, let's just not talk politics. A few of them, strong supporters. So. And what would you say to Donald Trump if you could say one thing to him? I miss you. I love it. I miss you so much. All right, all right, so we have made it to Savannah, Georgia. Just finished a little bit of a coffee at a place called Toast great restaurant. I didn't have any food there, but the coffee was great. They had an extensive coffee menu, great bar. The air condition was blasting, which is great because it's 90 degrees here in Savannah today. And uh, we're going to wave the Trump flag. Now, I do know for a fact that Savannah, Georgia does lean very liberal because there are a lot of universities around here, especially artistic universities. So we're probably going to meet some liberals down here. And that's OK, because we are the open minded, tolerant party of love. We really are, not the left. The right wing is the party of tolerance and love. Let's get it straight. I now proclaim Savannah, Georgia to be Trump country. That's right. This is now Trump country. God bless Donald J. Trump, the 45th and 47th president, making a comeback, making a comeback. Do what's right, guys, do what's right, vote Trump. That's right, that's right, we're gonna lower those taxes. We're gonna fix the gas prices, we're gonna end the wars. No more wars under Donald Trump. That's right, he's a man of peace. He's a man of peace. Joe Biden's a warmonger. So we're gonna have a good time out here today in the middle of our road trip. If you guys like this video and you wanna see more, please subscribe to my channel and make sure you watch this video series 
We're gonna be doing videos here. We're gonna be doing this tomorrow, maybe Myrtle Beach. We're gonna be doing this from New York. Each one's gonna get their own video. And we're gonna do the entire road trip in the Trump cowboy hat. Now you guys know what to do. If you want to know my work, gibsongo.com slash Adam Francisco. I am the only man fighting a terminal illness while still fighting for this country, the Constitution, and Donald J. Trump. That's right. That's right. Yeah, let me shake your hand. You know why? Because you're a real man. That's right. That's right. Trump country. Trump country. That's right. See, you guys, Gen Z is beast. Beast. Gen Z knows what's going on out here. They know a real man when they see one. They know what a real man looks like. A real man. And Donald Trump is a real man. Joe Biden is a weak man. He is weak. He needs to be impeached. He needs to be removed and go to Thailand for a massage on the beach. I don't think Savannah George is used to seeing this out here, to be honest with you. I, you know, I don't, I, you know, you're walking around downtown trying to have a nice day out. And then here comes this legal Mexican immigrant waving a Trump flag. Must be a weird sight for people. Do the right thing, ladies. Do the right thing this election. It's the Americans versus the Democrats. Americans versus Democrats. Are you an American or are you a Democrat? Oh, you're on the Trump train. Yes, sir. You got to break apart from, uh, you know, actually, no, you're trying to get Oregon parts of it, right? For years, they've been trying to do that, right? I, I, I think Oregon wants yeah, part of Yeah, they want part of Idaho. Yeah, because you guys are great. Have a great day. Yeah. Now, this is Trump country. And I'm going to prove to you today that Savannah, Georgia has a thriving Donald Trump supporting population. I'm going to prove it to you guys today. Mark my words. We're going to keep that young man out of war. We're going to keep him from getting drafted. If you vote for Biden, all your kids are going to be fighting a war in Ukraine. If you want peace, world peace, you know what to do. You got to vote for Donald J. Trump. That's right. It's coming back. It's inevitable. Let's do the right thing, Savannah, this election. We have one more shot to save this country. Joe Biden's destroying it. Nobody could buy houses anymore. Why? The mortgage rates, 8%. It's a disgrace. It's a disgrace. Gas prices, double under Joe Biden compared to Donald Trump. Double. It's disgusting. We need to drill, baby, drill. We need to drill, baby, drill. By the way, I will admit, guys, I look freaking certifiably insane standing out here in the corner screaming out one-line politics. Trump train! Let's go! Make America great again. Make America safe again. Make America wealthy again. Make America commonsensical again. That's right. That might not even be a word, but that's all right. The Democrats also like to make up words, such as reproductive freedom, meaning killing your baby. It's disgusting. Yeah, that's right. This is Trump country. This is Trump country. We all know that the Georgia election was stolen. They can't even find 300,000 ballots. They can't find them. There's no record of them. It's because the 2020 election was rigged and stolen by riggers. Joe Biden is a rigger. He likes to rig elections. We're not letting Joe Biden steal it this time. We're not letting Joe Biden steal it twice in a row. You get one steal in this life, one steal. We're gonna be too big to rig. That's right, we're gonna beat the cheat. We're gonna stop the steal. Because Georgia's not a blue state. You can't convince me that Savannah, Georgia, well, you could convince me Savannah is blue because of all the college libs out here. But you cannot convince me that Georgia is a blue state. Let's go, Trump 2024. That's right, you know why? Because you're a real man. Well, that's right, I'm, I'm, just, I'm, not, supposed to, I'm not supposed to vote for Trump. Where are you from? I'm from St. Louis. But you said you're Latino? I'm, I'm mestizo, right? I'm oh, mestizo. Go. Yeah. Nice. Half, yeah. I'm so, Mexican and Native American. But we're not supposed to swear. That's what they say. He's racist, right? Yeah. Okay. Democrats feel like they own our votes. No, that's right. We're and off the we reservation, to, right? We're off the reservation. We're off the reservation. And it feels really Whose good. Whose reservation is it? It feels really good. It doesn't feel real good? It's like eating that ice cream, but all the time. No, this is the thing. I mean, this would be cheaper. Yeah, it was. Probably half price under Donald Trump. It was probably, Trump. exactly. No, um, I'm 100% with you. Well, good, good. God bless you, brother. Thank you. I do, uh, I do videos on the street all across Florida. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah but yeah. I'm on a road trip to New York, so I figured I'd stop by in Savannah. 
and yeah, do, do, a, do a street it. video. Yeah, spread, you know? spread it. Yes. So you'll be on YouTube, by the way. So. Absolutely. Hey, all right. Go uh, look up my channel, Adam Francisco. Adam Francisco. You can I'll spell that. You're Latino. You got Absolutely. this. Absolutely. Got yeah. it. Adam Francisco. Have a good one, my friend. All right, friends. guys. Thank you. God bless you. And God bless Trump. There's only one man for the job. And his name is Donald J. Trump. Donald J. Trump is going to be our next president. It's inevitable. Look, she's wearing MAGA red. MAGA red for Trump. It is what it is. Look, I'm just observing what I see. I just make observations. You guys look like two real men over here. That means you're voting for Donald Trump. Not, not real men. Disappointed. <laughs> you're just men, not real men though. Okay. He's a real man. That's what a man looks like. You guys gotta learn, look at him. That's a real man. You guys vote for Trump? I don't know, absolutely. Then you're a real man. Let me shake your hands. You know it, brother. Oh, God bless you. You too? Yeah. You're a real woman. God bless you. Enjoy, guys. Have a great day. Trump. Oh, you vote for Trump too? Yo, I'm trying to prove to the internet that Savannah is Trump country. Is it not? I mean, I think it leans liberal because of all the college kids here. Oh. But you're in college. I'm 13. You're 13 years old? Holy shit, you look huge. Thank you. Like, not, not big huge, like... Are you like an athlete? No. You should be. You're like 5'11". Damn. Have a good day, man. So that guy was apparently 13 years old and he's taller than me. When I was 13, I was 5'2". And then I remember when I was in high school, 14, I jumped up to 5'4 as a freshman. That kid's like 5'11 and he's 13. He's going to be like 6'7". He's going to come back in three... He's going to come back in three years when Trump's president and he's going to be like 6'5". I'm going to be like, what the hell? You look like a smart businessman. You know what to do. That's right. We need a businessman as president. Not a nursing home resident. Resident Joe Biden needs to retire. Needs to retire. We're getting a good reaction out here, guys. A lot of love here in Savannah, Georgia today from the, uh, from the people. And these are the real Americans on the street. You know, I come out, I try to meet real, everyday, diverse Americans. I talk to anybody, any skin color any gender, any sexuality, I do not care. I want to get a pulse on the street and share with you how Americans are truly feeling about this next election. Yes, ma'am. Okay. We're going to save this country. We are going to keep men out of women's bathrooms. We are going to keep men out of women's sports. You, you guys agree, right, that we should keep men out of women's sports? I, I don't know, not about like sport. a biological man should not play against a woman in sports. It's common sense. Okay. It's common sense. We should also keep men out of women's bathrooms. Amen, brother. That's common sense. I don't want a man next to my daughter in the bathroom. Now, I don't have a daughter, but if I did, I would not want him next to my daughter. Joe Biden wants to put men in your daughter's bathrooms. That's what he did with Title VII. He liter Title IX, he made it gender identity is protected class. Gender identity is now protected class under Joe Biden. You can identify by whatever you want on any day of the week and walk into a woman's restroom with undergoing no transition. No tra You can have a beard and walk into Planet Fitness and use the woman's restrooms. It is so insane. You can't make this stuff up. You cannot make it up. Joe Biden is running a clown show in this country. It's an absolute clown show. Well, here come the sun hats. You know what that means. 90% chance, 90% chance. Albert Einstein, you're allegedly one of the smartest men in the world. So I have to know, are you voting for Donald Trump? Of course. Then see, see you guys, Albert Einstein is voting for Trump. That's right. One of the smartest men in the world, so that's right. E equals Trump 2024. You like Trump too? No. Um, I just wanted to see, are you on, on YouTube? Yeah. So why don't you like Trump? What do you like about the Biden administration? Um, I don't like much about the Biden administration, but Trump is a crook and he's what did terrible. He do? I mean, there's so many different things. His crimes against women. What do you do against, against women? Black people. Oh my gosh. What do you do against black people? Okay, here I'll, like, I'm gonna. What I'm gonna. I'm gonna pull up here. I'll show you. Because to, to call someone a criminal, you got to be convicted. Joe Biden. Woo. No, no, no. Hey. What do you mean? You must. You must like all the wars. Yeah, I love them. No, are you Trump? Well, I don't I, even know what you are now. Do I look Trump? You're a white male. I'm hoping you are Trump. 
Why do you say something like that? Because, because white me- I'm, I'm Mexican, American, Native American, but I'm a big Trump supporter. You know? Native yeah. American, which And tribe? Mexican. I don't know which tribe I was adopted. Do you think she's... Uh, she already told me she's uh, she's not for Trump. Yeah. What did you... Yeah. Did which I would have... Oh, 90% chance she's not for Trump. Why do you think because that? Because black, black women vote Democrat 92% of the time. You guys are the last party that has such a huge bias for the Democrats. You're, even black men are voting at a much higher rate for Trump. Even black mean? men this election are voting at a much higher rate. I wonder what it is about black women. Well, right, she thinks Trump's a criminal. He she is. thinks Trump's a criminal. Yeah, but, but I'm mean, saying to be a criminal, you got to be convicted of something. Let me ask something. you this. Do you think Biden's a criminal? Um... I do think that he's done worse things than Trump, such as showering with his dad. Okay. Also, his son called his dad Pete. He referred to his dad as Pete, file Pete. Okay, which is wrong. I mean, yeah, sure, if he did those things. And look at Trump the videos of Biden been... sniffing all the kids, touching them, and weird. it's weird, it's weird. It's yeah, weird. and Trump parties with underage women all no, the that, time. No, that was Jeffrey Epstein. That was Jeffrey which... Epstein. That was Jeffrey Epstein. I didn't even come over here to Trump argue. I just to, wanted to see if you're Trump alive. Trump never went to the too, islands. The <laughs> funny is, all politicians are crooked. And yeah, they're, they're all, all criminals. They're all get, they're I think all they are all the crooked to a degree, yeah. but I think Trump is doing the same things all other politicians have done. Yeah. He's just being persecuted for it because Joe Biden is losing in the election, yeah. and this is one of their last chances to stop him. Because these okay. cases would not have been brought up by any man, any politician, with, unless his last name was Trump. That's a fact. How about they're all the good. wars that are happening under Joe Biden? The open, the open border, 12 million illegal immigrants have entered this country under Joe Biden. We're paying with our tax dollars, which is driving up inflation, uh-huh. homelessness, crime, poverty. These are bad things. We need to put Americans first. We okay. need to build the wall. Yeah. 10 feet taller, 20 feet wider. Okay. Throw alligators in the moat. Turrets. Okay. If no one's coming across, we'll then those things don't matter. We'll put you up and you can snipe them, too. Canadian, I won't do that. The Canadian border. <laughs> forgot about that. Put a wall there, too. I'm all for it. We should fortify the U.S. Okay. 360 degrees, not one more illegal immigrant in this country. Not one more. Uh-oh. Not one more. I'm here from Mexico. I immigrated here, Uh-oh. but I got here legally. Okay. And I demand that they do the same. Mm. You know what I'm saying? How was that process for you? I was adopted, so I didn't do it. Oh. <laughs> Cheat code. The key to, guys, the key to a quick immigration is be adopted when you're a newborn. There you go, life hack. Oh. So I, I still get to claim I got here legally, even though I didn't do the effort. Mm. It's a technical loophole. Oh, yeah. well, but look, if you don't want any wars and you don't want to kill any more babies, because Joe Biden supports abortion, which has killed 70 million babies. I kill babies all the time. No, you don't kill babies. <laughs> no, you're not that evil. That's a terrible thing to say. Yeah. No, well, I'm, I'm just she's joking. I, I mean, know, I'm I know just joking. But... but if you vote Democrat, you are supporting the killing of black and brown babies. Okay. Did you know in New York, two thirds of black women abort their baby? Did you know that? 65%, 65% of black women abort their babies in New York City. Did you know that? No. That is a genocide. Okay. What happened is in Palestine, not a genocide, that's a war. Ooh. What's happening in black women's stomachs, that's a genocide. Two thirds. Well, it's like I already know how much the government has targeted black women. That's not something you that's have to That's the abortion tell me industry. About, but I'm saying, the abortion like, industry loves killing black women. Okay. And so when Democrats vote for Democrats, they're supporting the killing of black people like you two. But who even said that I supported abortion? If you support Democrats, that's a pretty hard line topic in America. I mean, everybody is all over the place with their beliefs. Are you, are you pro life? Yeah. At conception? Yeah. Oh, wow. All right, I was I misread you on that one. Yeah. We gotta Don't get you judge over a to, book by its cover. Yeah, come here. We gotta get you the Trump train. Oh, I'm not gonna get on the Trump train. I will not. This he's, but he's the most pro life president to, of our, of our, I just of our to lifetimes. I just come over and see if you're on YouTube or something. Yeah, but it's not live. It's gonna go live like tomorrow. Okay. Yeah, you'll What's see it? yourself. You have a channel? I do. What is it? Adam Francisco. Okay. Yeah, I was on Fox News recently. Ooh. Because I go viral. I go viral. You should look at my video. Oh, as long as you don't clip me saying I kill babies. All well, the I'll time. put it in as a joke. It'll be I'll put a laugh track or something. No, no, don't make me look stupid. It is what it is. I have it to look. It was a at joke. Me. Oh I know. Gosh, well, I you made it clear it's a joke. You said it was a joke afterwards. Okay, but keep that yeah. part in. Keep that part in. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I have a... yeah I'm not gonna. I don't edit things out of context. Okay. As Ever. Long as, I mean, it's gonna be the full clip right now. Okay. Yeah. What is it, Adam Francis? Adam Francis. I know they're voting for Trump. You guys are voting for Trump. Yeah, because you guys are real women. That's right. Real women vote for Donald Trump. Real men vote for Donald Trump. Wait, so you just do this all over the country? Well, mostly Florida. That's a good video you should watch. What black women really think about Donald Trump. What That's black... a good one. Oh. Those are your sisters. Oh, I just... you don't be weird. <laughs> Isn't, that what... Isn't that what they say? They're my sisters. He's yeah. my brother, you know? It's great meeting you. Uh, yeah, it was cool meeting you. All Have right. a nice day. All right, no problem. See ya. All right, I'm just kidding. Yeah, I'm definitely Trump. Yeah, I wasn't really sure. 
But I figured you were Trump because you seem like a real man. Well, because you know, I, I am a real man. That's right. I see you. <laughs> I see you, brother. Come on, Scad, vote for Trump. Scad, vote for Trump. Come on, Scad. Scad, we need your vote. Save the babies. Stop the war in Palestine. Trump will end the war in Palestine. When we had Trump, we had no war in Palestine. Remember that. Trump is the most peaceful president of our lifetime. It's so crazy to me that like, we want closed borders, we want to protect Americans, we want world peace, and we're called extremists. You know what I think is extreme? Killing 70 million babies, innocent babies. I guess all babies are innocent. Endless wars, record inflation, record gas prices, record mortgage rates, record crime. That to me is extreme. That to me is a real threat to this country. Huh? You, you said again? Would you send Ukraine money? Not anymore. Okay. They've had too much. Yeah. $200 billion okay. of our taxpayer money. Get the fuck $200 billion of our tax money. We got to put it. We got to put Americans first. Yeah. Americans first. I, I love supporting my fellow Americans. I love when my money goes towards health care, the border, strong education system, yeah. homelessness. Right, yeah. Yeah. Right, yeah. Thank you, sir, because you're a real man. That's right. That's right. Only, <laughs> only real men vote for Donald Trump. Only real men vote for Donald Trump. Real women vote for Donald Trump. That's right. Look at this, guys. This is Trump country. This is Trump country. Donald Trump, man. Donald Trump. Scad, what would it take for you guys to vote for Donald Trump? You guys look like Scad. It's like an art school, I think. I'm not from these parts. Vote for Trump, guys. we got to bring world peace back. Got to close the border. No more illegals. Not one more illegal in this country. Not one more illegal. Too many. We've had 12 million illegals enter this country under Joe Biden, which is killing this country. Vote Trump, guys. Save the babies. End the war in Gaza. Vote for Trump. If you vote for Biden, you're going to keep the war going. Joe Biden's a warmonger. Look at this. Under Trump, world peace. Under Biden, multiple wars. I don't make it up. I just observe reality. Are you on the Trump train? No, I'm on Are you an officer? Yeah. Thank you for the service. Thank you. God bless you. Back the blue, baby. We black the blue on this channel. How you doing? Vote for Trump. We need him. No, you need to vote for Trump. We need you on board. Get on the Trump train or get run over. Get on the Trump train. You seem like a pro-life man. Yeah, that's right. Because you're a real man. Real men don't believe in the killing of defenseless babies. Real men do not believe in the killing of defenseless babies. That's common sense to me. That's right, gentlemen. That's right. That's right, he's coming back to save us. He's saving our communities. You know, they say real men wear two pairs of sunglasses. And they vote for Donald Trump. And we do. Yeah, that's, right. that's right. Yeah, I can tell. I can tell because that's a real man. Seeing when someone looks like a real man, it's a Trump voter. When they look like they have a little too much soy in their diet, when they look like they haven't seen the sunshine for a couple of months, then they're probably a Biden voter. If they look happy, they're a Trump supporter. If they're downtrodden and sad and depressed, probably a Biden voter. Look, I don't make up these rules. I just observe reality. And I report, even AI agrees with me. AI did a study and said that conservative women smile more in photos. That's what AI said. And AI is never wrong. AI is never wrong. Oh, yeah. yeah, brother. Damn. He pump faked me. He did say hell yeah, but then he pump faked me. Your shirt kind of matches my flag. Yeah, sadly. No, no, no. This is a real American flag. Uh, That's right. If you want to stop these wars, you vote for Trump. Unless you want Gaza to keep getting bombed like crazy under Joe Biden. Doesn't even care. Doesn't even care. Shrugged her shoulders. Doesn't even care. The hell, that's right. Great to have you on our side. Because you're a real woman. Real woman vote for Trump. Non-binary woman vote for Joe Biden. Look, I don't make up the rules, I just observe. If you're binary, you vote for Trump. If you're non-binary, you vote for Joe Biden. That's what the polling shows. That's what the polling shows. The they, thems vote for Joe Biden. The she, hers, his, hims vote for Trump. That's 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 the way it is.
and I think I think Savannah is full of a lot of they thems to be honest I, I think I've seen a lot of they thems today a lot of they thems out here today I bet your drinks were cheaper three years ago they were yeah we need Trump back I know. to stabilize these uh, this inflation yeah. yes that's right vote yeah. for Trump you can say 50% next election yeah I'll buy that's right <laughs> where are you from we are from DR Oh, DR, very Mama Juana. Mama Juana, yeah. I love Mama Juana. <laughs> yeah. More rico. <laughs> Thank you, brother. That's right. Dominicans for Trump. Mexicanos for Trump. Let's go. Yo, Savannah, Georgia proudly stands with Donald Trump. I love this. I got to move here, guys. This is Trump country. Let me take a picture with you. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah. Give one of them the... Uh, Thank you. God bless you, brother. So guys, after this video, I'm going to get back in my car, hit the road. I'm already uh, one third of the way to New York. So we're gonna try to do about 400 miles today, which is what I did about yesterday around that. So tomorrow I got 400 miles more to drive and I'm in New York. The Savannah stand with Trump. The Savannah stand with Trump. Maybe so. That's right. Guys, it is super hot here. I am burning up per usual in uh, the summer heat on the southern coast of uh, the USA. But I do this for the country. I do this for all of us so that we can live in a safer, wealthier, better America. I told you guys, 90% of the time when a white woman has a sun hat, she's a Democrat. You vote for Trump? It's so weird. <laughs> That's going on with someone and being, you vote for Trump. <laughs> but I mean, come on, guys, let's be honest. I've said some weirder shit. Come on, let's be honest. I bet your food was cheaper under Donald Trump. Probably half price. Bigger portion, less money. With Joe Biden, you spend more and you earn less. You pay more and you live worse. That's Bidenomics. Pay more, live worse. Work harder, earn less. Thanks, Joe. Thanks, Democrats. How are you? How you doing? All righty. God bless you. you See, you can tell when someone stands with Trump, they're happy, they're vibrant. They have positive energy flowing from their body. That's right. It's a one-man rally. That's right. Oh, yes. I'm a supporter. Oh, God bless you guys, because you're a real man. Only non-binary men vote for Joe Biden. Only non-binary men. Whew, guys, it is a freaking hot day today. You know, this has been like the first time in my life I actually miss seasons. Hate to admit it. Hate to admit it. Hi again. Hey, Betsy. How you doing? All right, guys, that is going to wrap it up here today in Savannah, Georgia. We had a good time with the Trump flag. I think I proved that this is Trump country. We are in Trump country. So if you guys want to support our channel, you know what to do, giftsandgo.com, so shout out Francisco. Support my channel, support my road trip to New York. And uh, as always, God bless Trump. Mm -hmm.